I'm on the campus of the University of Oklahoma. There's some construction noise in the background. In the foreground, we see a Greco-Roman fountain brought to OU by its president, former United States Senator David Boren. Let's take a closer look at it. The idea for this fountain is rooted in ancient Greek history. Ancient Greece was a society which was dominated by a ruling caste of homosexual men, a homosexual patriarchy. And within this patriarchy, they commonly practiced man-to-boy sex. And we see holding up a cup statues of two nude boys with genitals exposed. They're holding up the top cup. This idea comes from the myth of Ganymede. The homosexual patriarchy uh, expressed their erotic needs through their mythology. And any classical scholar who knows about the mythology of ancient Greece is aware of the myth of Ganymede. In that story, Ganymede was a boy shepherd. The bisexual god Zeus came down from Mount Olympus and kidnapped Ganymede. He transformed himself into an eagle first. There's a painting done in the Middle Ages. I'm providing a link to it here in the associated text box. This painting is called The Rape of Ganymede. Ganymede was taken to Mount Olympus for sexual use by Zeus. His duties included having to carry water to the gods. That's why the two nude boys in the statues are holding a water cup. Now this is wintertime, it's January, and so the water is not flowing from the fountain, but Ordinarily, during warm months, uh, there is water flowing from this top cup. There's more to the story. Oh, by the way, in the associated text, text box, I have a link to the Encyclopedia Mythica, and it tells about the Ganymede myth. But there's more to the story. We have to look at the situation here at the University of Oklahoma. Why is something like this appealing to David Boren? The fact is that David Boren is Oklahoma's most prominent closet homosexual. Now, I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but it's sort of an open secret. People know it, but pretend not to know it. And if they talk about it, they talk only in hushed tones. But in 1993, when Boren was a U.S. Senator, gay activists began to out him and accuse him of sexually harassing his male staff members. These were correct accusations. The following year, Boren was successful in manipulating the OU regents into naming him president of OU. He resigned then from his Senate seat with two years remaining on this Senate seat. He had been elected to it three times but he resigned before his third term was completed. The news about Boren being outed by the gays never made it to the mainstream press. He was able to keep the press from telling the story. But I'm telling it now because I think Oklahomans deserve to know. I think that if Oklahomans want to evaluate the sculptures around the OU campus, they need to know something about Boren's motives they need to know the origins. They need to understand a little bit about Greek history. Then they'll understand that this sculpture is nothing more but child pornography on the campus of the University of Oklahoma. It indicates approval of man-to-boy sex. 
And if Oklahomans want to accept that, well, I suppose they have a right to. But they also have a right to the information. And that's why I'm bringing you out. This is Michael Wright on the campus of the University of Oklahoma. Signing off for now.